Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play Poorly of Astra Protocol 2. Uh, I have played this in the past. Uh, you may have seen my Let's Play briefly of about a half an hour worth of this game. At the time it was version 1.0 and did not have a save and load system, but now with 1.1, which recently came out, it does have a save and load, which means that it becomes available to me to play as a series. So that is going to be fantastic. We're going to give this a go. Now, this game is essentially played in the manual. You're not really supposed to know anything about what you're doing. Uh, it doesn't guide you in any way. It is not exactly a puzzle, uh, but it is Attention intended to be incoming transmissions. difficult. <laughs> Three celestial bodas discovered. One space stations discovered. Attention periodic signal detected. All right, so should note, uh, this game does not have any built-in music, so I am playing uh, the music from Carl Casey at White Bat Audio. Uh, you probably heard this music if you uh, watched other series like Stellar Crusade and Road War 2000 and so on. This game is very much in that vibe, right? It's, it's very 80s uh, cassette futurism style. Uh, okay, so there's three celestial bodies, one space station, and a periodic signal. I don't know anything about that. Uh, but if we go over to the manual, you can see here this is the manual, and this is how you play the game. You basically play the game by learning the commands. Now, in the time between my last playthrough, my playthrough, my last attempt, and this one, I have not played anything. Not played it at all, because I did not want to ruin the discovery of it while I'm recording. So I know very, very little about how the game works other than what I basically learned in those 30 minutes the first time I played. Uh, so we're going to struggle through this. This is how the game goes. If you don't enjoy watching people struggle to play games, you will not enjoy watching me and you probably won't even enjoy playing the game. You got to you gotta have the vibe, man. You got to have the vibe. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to learn how this works. So F1 is the helm. F2 is engineering we've got our engines thrusters rudder laser scanners scanners are on we're gonna have to scan something at some point i know that we've got tractors offline uh shields are good reactor is at zero percent i guess it's not doing anything right now um yeah i don't know what's happening so we do have some radiation issues that's what we're getting like that that flickeriness i think uh, we are nearby uh, a moon and some and a, an asteroid, I think. Uh, not 100% sure on that. Okay, next up is long range. Okay, so we've got some science probes. Uh, let's see. Can I do a manual override here? Manual override engaged. Don't know what that does. Oh, there we go. So I can do this. I don't know what this is doing. And it's all grungy looking because I guess there's some kind of radiation, right? I think that's what's happening. Um, so, oh, yes, I should probably read the information about this game. Uh, so, monitors have received notification of an unknown event referred to as Astro Protocol. You have been designated search and reconnaissance to determine the meaning of this Astro Protocol. Secondary objective, find evidence of survivors. Probability of hostiles, high. So, that's where we are. Now, I would like to think of this as me being the pilot who's been hit on the head. Or I'm like just some backup guy who doesn't know anything about anything. Um, all right, so I can I can do stuff. I don't know what that does. All right, let's let's it's fine, fine. Manual override disengaged. What is this section? Um, what did I just hit? Oh, this is uh, weapons, I guess. If I go to help, I can get this help, which is a bit sluggish, and that's the in intentional because it. They really want you to play off of the manual. So that's ordnance. View missile shield and fighter status. Okay. And then navigation. Interesting. Okay. So I should be able to do like autopilot stuff. And then finally, we have uh, science, I think, right? Is this science? No, it's operations. I already had science. Okay, this is operations. Mission status, captain's log, and transmissions. We should be getting a transmission shortly, I think, uh, that'll give us our, our mission job. But uh, for the moment, we need to figure out how to do some scanning. Display long-range scan. 
So we need to do a scan, long range scan. Like I'm, I can, I can read the the um, the quick details of the uh, of the commands here. Long range scan. There we go. Um, but if I want to do it proper, like I will do it from here. So we can look at our commands. Long range scan. There it is. Performs a scientific analysis of the sector, providing relative positions of the nearest celestial body, signals of artificial origin, and space stations. All right, so let's do a long-range scan. Scanning for bodies of interest. Please wait. Meanwhile, I'm going to go here and look at this. So yeah, this is the scan happening. We've got science probes. Don't really know how to use those. Do we have a, a pro highway to launch probes? Launch probe. Note that the science module must contain a probe for this command to succeed. Okay, well, we've got 20 of them. Uh, I don't know what I need to do with that. Do I have to target something? I'm not sure. Maybe we launch one and just see what happens. We're almost done with the scan. Long range scan complete. Okay, that's done. Uh, for some reason, my music stopped. Let me see if I can get that back. There we go. All right, so we've got a scan. Now let's, uh, let's see. Dis uh, what is it? What is that command? Display something or other? Ah, crap. Back to the manual. Display long range scan. Display long might be enough, I don't know. Syntax error. Okay. <laughs> Display long range scan. Okay. Scan results as of 58 seconds ago. Closest unscanned celestial body. Detected distress beacon. Ooh, okay. At that location. So there's a distress beacon somewhere. Let me be, maybe we need to go there. Uh, let's do manual override. I don't need to do that. Manual one. override engage. All right, we're going to minus four three. Oh dear. How do we get there? Is there is there a way to get there? That's us. Okay. I don't know what we can do. Um, all right, let's see. That's nav. No, that's science. Uh, where's? Oh. Hmm. We've got to get that distress beacon figured out, right? We got to get to that that location. Um, how do I set a destination? Set autopilot, set bearing. Target what? Thrusters set autopilot. No. Um root. Ooh. 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 Okay. 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 Uh root. How do I do roots? Set mmm. value hmm all right don't know 100 percent. okay so we've got autopilot over here 
arguments, engine, thrusters, rudder, and the value, does that value match, do I have to, like, match it to, say, this here, detected stress, distress beacon, do I match it to that? So let's maybe, let's try that, set autopilot, and then I can, like, enable the autopilot. Okay, and then you can, over here it says you can remove roots in a various count. I don't know how that works. Uh, all right, let's say, okay, let's say. Uh, we're gonna do set auto pilot. And we're gonna try minus 4384 minus 11168. Does that work? Syntax error. No, that is not how that works. Maybe we can get it from help. Oh, navigation. Maybe I can do it from navigation. Okay. Clear route. Enable autopilot. Plot root target. Ah! Ah ha ha! Ha! There we go. Plot root and then the vector. Set autopilot bearing. I don't need a bearing. Set bearing, set engines. Okay, so no, what I do need is I need, where was that? Plot root and then the vector, there we go. Okay, let's try that. Plot root minus 4384 minus 11168. Does that work? Okay, enable autopilot. Autopilot engaged. Are we going? We're turning. We're going. Don't know where we're going yet, though. Uh, okay, so let's get back to... Oh, there we go. Nope, 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 nope. I want manual override on that. Manual override engaged. Okay, so we are going somewhere now. But I don't know where. That seems like a long way to go. And I'm betting I can't go past this point. Yet. Oh, no, I can. I feel like maybe I shouldn't be going there because oh, I'm very far away. Yeah, that's incredibly far away. I feel like I shouldn't be going there. I don't move very fast. Is this as fast as I go? Data, what's data link? Okay, so there's targets. Yeah, maybe I, okay. Maybe, maybe that's too far away. Um, let's disable the autopilot. Autopilot disengaged. Oh, let's turn the engines off, though. I 
come on. Do I not have control? No. Nope. Maybe it's from here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I bet it's from here. No. Manual override engaged. Uh, why? What's happening? Why can't I slow down? Or am I slowing down? I don't know what's happening. Stable engine. Not do it. Uh, let's remove the root. Oh, there we go. We're finally slowing down. Okay. Shall we do another long range scan? What is that? I guess that's an asteroid. Received the message, I don't think. Let me see. Maybe it's just hiding there. Okay, maybe this is it. I don't remember getting that. Nope. Oh, here we go. Yes. Confidential transmission enclosed long range monitoring stations have collected an object of unspecified origin upon inspection by the science division. It was determined to be a distress beacon. Main power reserves were gone and backup were nearly depleted. Memory banks were accessed, however, they were heavily corrupted. All we could ascertain was an event referred to as Astra Protocol. Captain Science Division has indicated that this Astra Protocol is of highest priority and you have been designated. As search and reconnaissance to determine its source and meaning primary objective locate and secure any evidence regarding the Astra Protocol secondary designation search for evidence of survivors warning probability of hostile presence is high losses expected good luck captain. Okay, well that's- oh shit there's One a ship, there's a detected. ship. detected. Okay, okay. Long uh, range scan complete. Oh no 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 who are you who are you who are you? Are you good are you bad? What was that? What is that? I mean, can we target you? Stabilize. There we go. Target. Ship. Attempting target lock. Target lock. I'm assuming my radio is turned on. Can I? Uh, can I? Can I talk to you? All right. Let's see. Let's look at our lists. I don't want to attack it necessarily. Let's disable manual plot rec mm, scan spacecraft. Scan spacecraft. That should work, right? Oh, ah. Uh, oh, he's turning away. How do I hail these guys? Can I talk to them? Scanning for spacecraft complete. Um, can I set radio? Set the written. Mm, that's a range. Radio range. Um, I 
Oh, he's moving away. So, uh, let's see. Target asteroid. Attempting target lock. Okay. Target locked. We've got a lock on you. Can I shoot it? I, I want to test some things here. So we've got laser. And asteroid, laser asteroids? I don't know. Nope. Laser asteroid? Nope. Oh. Uh, no. That's confusing. Let's see if I can shoot that asteroid. Enable lasers, first of all. Oh, that's not correct. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Back to here. It's set laser asteroids, I guess. There we go, yes. Set laser asteroids, let's see. Nope. Uh, right, let's try that again. Maybe I have to type mode or something? Set laser mode asteroids. Yes, okay, I do. Set laser mode asteroids. Okay, I don't, I don't know what that's gonna do. Enable laser. Enable lasers. There we go. Is that, is that it? Target Attempting ship? target yeah. lock. I want to. I want to see if I can talk to this guy. Target locked. Can I talk to this guy? Can I go close to him? Um. Manual override engaged. Uh, I'm stabilized for some reason. This okay. Yeah, okay. Autopilot is inactive. Why can't I... Why can't I move you? Manual override engaged. Doesn't want me to do anything. For some reason. The autopilot is inactive, so I should be able to turn. Set bearing. Let's try to set some, let's set a bearing, let's see. Set bearing, maybe set it to 360. All right, there it goes. I don't know why I couldn't do it manually. Manual override engaged. No, yeah, don't have control. Not sure why. Something's going on there that I'm missing. I turn. I definitely have autopilot turned off. He's going that way. Let's see. Set bearing. Let's set it to 315.
And then can I set engines to like 75%? Yes. All right, so the manual, I don't need to worry about the manual override if I've got this. It's weird, I've been able to do it in the past, I'm not sure, there's some, there's some like, setting that I have enabled by accident, I think, that kind of fucked it up a little bit. That's so that I, I don't know how to turn that off to, maybe it's the stabilization stuff? Hmm. Stabilize. Can I turn, is it stabilize on or off? Maybe not. Well, I am getting closer to that guy. I don't know who you are, buddy, but we're gonna, we're gonna get to know each other a whole lot better. Warning reactor is approaching limits of safe operating what? temperature. Don't overheat on me, buddy. Warning collision imminent. Don't want to crash into you, though. Stabilize you completely. Wish I knew how to talk to that thing. Or something. Let's see. One spacecraft detected. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. <laughs> I've been following it. If I type in, oh God, what, what just happened? Mission fit. What did I do? Did I crash? While I was reading the manual, I think I collided with the ship or he shot me. I'm not sure. I lasted for 27 minutes and nine seconds. And I have traveled 3894. Wow. Ships destroyed. Zero. Yeah, well, space station's link. I don't know, man. That was rough. Okay, well, when we come back, we're gonna try, okay, so I could scan some celestial bodies, link some space stations. Maybe, maybe that's the thing to do. I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn. I'm having fun. Hope you are too. Like I said, this is intended to be a struggle. It's intended to be difficult and complex and weird and very 1980s cassette future type stuff. This is the sort of thing that my 12 year old self would have just freaking loved. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.